There are all sorts of important things inside our bodies, like bones, blood, and internal organs. However, some of the most important stuff you can't even see, we call them nutrients. They nourish our bodies, keeping us healthy, filled with energy, and able to avoid sickness, and recover quickly from accidents. There are two main groups of nutrients. Macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbohydrate, are needed in large amounts. And micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, are needed in small amounts. We get these vital nutrients from the food we eat. So, when you're sitting down to your breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you need to make sure that what's on your plate is what your body needs. Let's look at macronutrients first. You can get your protein from three main sources: animals like chicken and fish, plants like peas and nuts, and other new sources like soya and tofu. If you're looking for carbohydrate, and you should be because it's your main source of energy, you can find it in staple foods like potatoes and bread, and sweet foods like cakes and biscuits. Fat can be good and bad. Unsaturated fats, like olive oil, are better for us than the saturated fats found in red meat and dairy products. So far, so good. Most of us find protein, carbohydrate, and fat in the food we love to eat. But it's not so simple when it comes to micronutrients. Not only do we need to check that we have the right variety of foods, but some of these essential nutrients appear in foods we might not like or aren't used to eating. This can become a problem because all micronutrients are essential to our health. Some vitamins appear in everyday favorites. Vitamin B1, which helps our bodies release energy, is found in nuts and meat. And most bread and breakfast cereals have B1 added to help us out. Vitamin B12 is similar to B1 and can be found in the same type of foods as well as dairy products. It also helps us form red blood cells. We need iron to form hemoglobin in those red blood cells, and we get iron from red meat, fish, and eggs. Fish and eggs also provide us with vitamin D, which is vital for our bones and teeth, as it helps us absorb calcium. Oily fish like salmon and tuna are good for vitamin D, but it might not be everyone's cup of tea. Speaking of calcium, we need it to maintain our muscles, form blood clots when necessary, and of course, strengthen our bones. As well as dairy products, it can be found in green, leafy vegetables and sardines when we eat the bones. Everyone knows we need vitamin C. It helps our bodies absorb iron, heal wounds, and build a strong immune system. So, get stuck into some oranges, lemons, blueberries. Kiwi, mango, and pineapple. Great in a smoothie. It's also in some vegetables that aren't so popular, such as kale, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts, which are also full of folate. Great for healthy red blood cells and a strong nervous system. More smoothies, anyone? And don't forget vitamin A, which helps our growth, eyesight, skin, and immune system. It has two types. Retinol, which you get in eggs and dairy products, and beta carotene, which is only available through carrots, orange-colored fruit, and leafy green vegetables. So get snagging. As you can see, to stay healthy and full of life, you need to eat loads of different stuff. But vegetables, fruit, eggs, and fish don't appear on too many fast food menus. You can get loads of sodium from that source, which we do need to help balance our system. But not in the quantities that most people eat. So, understand what your body needs in terms of both macronutrients and micronutrients. Remember, you are what you eat.